By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And in today's video, I would like to share a mail day because I've gotten quite a lot of mail and you know, I decided, you know what, let's just all save it up and make one nice video where I'm opening these packages. So I've got, you know, this brick, I've got this bubble envelope, I've got another envelope from France and another one here just from the Netherlands with yeah, the stamp of our king, Willem Alexander. And uh, you know what, let's see, what am I going to start with? I think I'm gonna start with the biggest. I think I'm gonna just gonna start with this brick here because this contains sealed product. Because one of the things I like to do, and you can see it's from actually from a game store for your games. And um, it's a game store in the Netherlands. And um, what I was saying, this is a, a sealed product because um, I love to draft with old products, but of course there's a big problem. They're very expensive. Now there are a couple of sets that you can still buy, Fallen Empire being one of them. Uh, but I found that booster packs of this, they are kind of affordable. And look, it's really nicely, nicely packed. I got this through uh, Magic Card Market, which is when you're in Europe, uh, it's usually the place to go. And I don't always use them because, you know, when you're playing old school longer, you know a lot of people. And here we go. We see booster packs. What is this? And look, this is Renaissance. And this is uh, the Renaissance uh, booster pack. It's the French version. So this contains cards from the Four Horsemen sets. And I've actually got four. And um, I'm going to use these for drafting. I've got a very um, special draft uh, where I actually play with my brother and uh, we make a deck. And when you lose, you get to open another booster pack to improve your deck. And it's always uh, a, best of, um, a best of five. So you've got to win three games and then you win it. And when you lose, you can open up a new booster pack and then you can improve your deck. So these packs are really nice. As you can see, these are the sets that are represented in them. So we have the Four Horsemen sets, Antiquities, Arabian Nights, Legends, and the Dark. And um, and these these are these are affordable, you know. I think um, I'm actually not quite sure what I pay for these, but I think you pay in between uh, what would it be six between six euros and ten euros for a booster pack. So, and it's only eight cards, so you gotta be aware of that. It's not 15, it's only eight. But in older packs, that's quite normal. You see that with Fallen Empire, with Homelands, with a lot of sets. So, we've got these four nice looking booster packs. Let's continue here. Just gonna put it here in the background. Let's get the envelope away. So this is our letter from France. So we've got France, uh, French booster packs and a letter from France. Let's open it up here. Again, making sure I'm not cutting through the cards. And I believe this is a play set. And again, nice packaging. And probably protected by, uh, by tokens. Let me get, just got some sellotape on my thumb here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Life is complicated. Okay, I guess, wow. Okay. This is a little bit annoying. There's the sellotape here is sticking on the other sleeve, but hey, it works. Boom, and of course, this is just to protect the cards, just a token. And here we go, Paralyze. I've ordered a play set of Paralyze and um, I actually did this because I shared uh, one of my deck lists on the community post, which was an evil eye deck with a lot of land removal. And I actually played two Terrors main. And um, somebody said in the comments, so thank you for that. Uh, I said in the comments, you know, why not add Paralyzes to it? Because you're playing with a lot of land destruction, so Paralyze can actually do a great job. And 
they're in pretty good condition. Let's have a look. Really nice art. Pretty nice condition. It's always good, you know, and when you've been buying on Magic Card Market for a while, you kind of get to know um, what dealers, you know, have fast shipping, have good packing or reliable. That's very important. Really nice art by Anson Maddox. And this is number four. So four Paralyzed, nice play set of Paralyzed that I will definitely um, try out in uh, my um, Evil Eye deck. And just in general, it's a great card to have. And now we're gonna open a pack from the Netherlands. Actually, I wonder what's in here. I think these are some Fallen Empire cards. Yep, that's it. Yes, there we can already see a Fallen Empire card. Maybe if you like Fallen Empires, there's probably a, a pop-up right now where I share my Fallen Empire sorting video because I'm collecting all the Fallen Empire cards times four, but I'm also taking place in a Fallen Empire tournament. And then I found out I don't have four conch horns. Actually, I only have two, so I've ordered um, two more conch horns. And this is a, a beautiful card. And I guess there's one in here. And there's a Daralore. This is my number four Daralore. Very good, of course, to splash index. A four, 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 four. Oh, let's put that one here. And we've got the sand silos. I kind of like the saving lands. I want to find a way to abuse them. So I thought um, combine them with uh, deep spawn because I think it's very flavorful because this kind of looks like the place where the homeroids live. So yeah, I thought it would be cool to do like get an early sand silos on, um, keep saving it and then get your deep spawn out early. Would be very flavorful. Um, so I ordered two of these, so now I have four of these as well. And strangely enough, I was checking my collection. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these for now, but it is definitely one of the better removal cards in Fallen Empires. And strangely enough, I only owned two of these. So now I have a full play set. So this is just some Fallen Empire shenanigans. Uh, but that's nice, I like that. So we've got quite a collection and we have one more envelope to go. And this is actually an envelope from Bert. And Bert is a magic player from the Netherlands. I've played against him. He's a very nice guy. And he was selling some cards. And a couple of these cards were just too cool not to pick up. And I think, you know, um, I think Bert, you're going to regret selling these cards, at least some of them. Because they're just, they're so cool. Mm, okay, I think there's a little note in here, so I'll take that off camera. Hope to see you soon. Have fun with the cards. And let's do a beer together. Cheers. He's got a little, look, drawn a little uh, wizard here. Very cool. Thank you, Bert. Definitely going to keep this note, especially where you're saying we're going to drink beer together. I mean, that is a great idea. I hopefully we can have some tournaments in person soon. And we just have to now try to get the cards out of here. Because we haven't been able to play any like real life magic in, uh, I don't know, I think since poo, March somewhere. So it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time. Or is it April? I don't know actually. So here are the cards. It's gonna show them to you one by one. As you can see, there's a nice little dent in that one. Boom Amnesia. Very brutal card. Somebody used this against me. Hank, if you're listening to this, and you know what I did? I just dropped. He did it first turn Amnesia. I said, okay, man, you've got this game. And I was very, very salty. But I have to admit, this is way cooler to cast than a mind twist. And look at that art. Amazing. For people that don't know, Amnesia is three blue and three. It's a sorcery. And what it does, look at target's player's hand. 
Target player discards all non-land cards in his or her hand. So that's what it that's what it does. It's pretty brutal. So we have this one. Let's see, let's make some space. We've got this one. And then we have Tranquility. Again, it's one of those cards. I just noticed I only had, um, or I only have one unlimited Tranquility. So I thought, okay, if I want to use this in sideboards and I want to make it Swedish legal, it's just a cheap pickup. And then when you see uh, somebody that you know, you know, selling it, having it on a list, and I, I just pick it up, you know, it's, it's a good thing to have. Now this next card, I'm curious to hear from you because I would love to brew with this card. It's actually my first one and it's the Lurker. And it's one uh, green and two, it's a summon Lurker from the dark. And it's a two, three creature for three, which in itself is actually pretty reasonable for old school. Because usually you would only get a two, two for one green and two. So being a two, three, that's already an extra. Of course, it's still boltable. But talking about being boltable, Lurker has a unique ability. Lurker may not be the target of any spells unless Lurker was declared as an attacker or blocker this turn. Isn't that interesting? So I really want to abuse this ability. Uh, I know there are Lurker decks out there and I haven't really um, looked at them or paid any attention to them. So if you're listening and you have a nice like brew or a nice combo with Lurker, can you please let me know in the, com in the comments below because I would love to do something with Lurker, I think it's a very badass card. And to be honest, I mean, look at that art, how cool. Anson Maddox, really that the dark vibe. I mean, what a scary creature. It's interesting that it's green because it's got much more of a dark vibe. Although the creature itself kind of looks like it came from, yeah, from the earth, I guess. A Lurker, a summon Lurker. And um, yeah, Bert, I don't understand why you're selling such a cool card. I don't, I just don't get it, man. And I'm gonna make a really cool deck with Lurker. Well, first I need three more Lurkers to have a play set, and then I'm gonna build a deck around it. And you're going to want this card back. You're going to ask me, we're gonna trade it back. I'm gonna trade it back with you. Once you've seen the deck that I'm gonna build with this. Although I have no idea. So if you have any ideas with Lurker, let me know in the comments below. That's much appreciated. And that was my meal day. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that by leaving a like, leaving a comment, subscribing if you're not a subscriber yet. And you can also support the channel through Patreon. So you can become a patron of Timmy Talks and support the show financially. Talking about the patrons, let's go to the end scroll. Ik het dus, ik het dus, somber gezien.